Hey everybody, welcome back to the Driving at Home podcast. This is your host, Johnny Trokey, and this is the podcast where we talk about Chris's latest sermons and offer you some practical action steps and some bonus takeaways, all in an effort to help drive those lessons home for you and your family so that they make a lasting impact in your everyday walk with the King of Kings. Let's jump in. This week, we are talking about Jesus' miracle of feeding the 5,000. And really, in reality, Chris pointed this out in his lesson, too. It was way more than 5,000 people. You guys, this is more in the area or in the range of fifteen to 20,000 people, a mass multitude. Like half the—I think uh, Chris said it in his lesson, like half the ta- like the whole town of, of Laramie, but half the population of the area where uh, Jesus was— can you imagine seeing this many people out on a grassy hillside just waiting to be fed? Uh, can you imagine? So you have this scene where the apostles, Jesus has been healing people, and the apostles are, are seeing this crowd just amass before their eyes, and it's getting time to eat. It's becoming time to to eat, and it's the Passover and Jesus looks out on the crowd, and he's moved with compassion for them, and he says, you know what? He makes the decision then and there, I'm going to feed these people. And and the disciples don't know that Jesus has made this decision. As a matter of fact, Jesus even tests one of his apostles, Philip, um, when he saw that a large crowd was coming toward him. Jesus said to Philip, where are we to buy bread so that these people may eat? Like Jesus was was asking Philip, hey, where, where do you think we should buy bread? Even though the text makes it very clear that Jesus himself knew what he was going to do before he even asked the question. He was just testing Philip to see what his idea was going to be. But for some reason, John saw this young boy that had two loaves, two fish, that had two fish and five loaves. And something in his mind made him think, you know what, let me let me bring this kid before Jesus and see if he's going to do anything with this. And of course, we know the story. Jesus does. He takes those two fish and the five loaves and he feeds the multitude of people. And Chris had a, a really great point to his lesson. You know, if you if you give whatever you have to God, he can make a lot out of a little. And that's so true. That even if you, you're looking at your lot in life, you're looking at what you have to offer the world, and you go, I, I really don't have much to offer. In, in terms of being able to serve or, or being generous. You know, I, I'm of little means and of little skill or little talent. Like we view ourselves in this very dim light. But the point of Chris's lesson was, if you give whatever it is that you do have to God, he can make a lot out of a little. And he also used the example of the widow with her two mites. You know, it wasn't that a two mites was a lot. It was very little. But it was all that she had. And if you'll just give God all that you have, he can take it and multiply it beyond anything that you could ever imagine. And so that's the overwhelming message from this miracle here in John chapter 6. But I want to come at it from a little bit different angle and give you another takeaway, another thing to consider from this miracle, which is, do you, do you know how long it would take to feed a crowd 500 people. I was at an event recently, a silent auction for a school here in town, and uh, there was a lot of people. There were like hundreds of people at this event, and it took a long time for this large wait staff to get everybody their food and then to take their plates away and bring them the ne- the next course for their meal. You know, it's a it's a very big to do, and this wasn't necessarily like that. This isn't a multi course meal. They're they're taking this these fish and these loaves and they're just passing it out to people but still can you imagine the the amount of time it would take to feed like if this if chris is right in that this is closer to 15 to twenty thousand people can you imagine how long that would take even if it was 500 people like i said that would take a long time it does take a long time but 15 to twenty thousand man that kind of boggles the mind how long would it take to feed those people You guys, this is the takeaway I want to offer you. 
sometimes serving the people that God has placed in front of you, it will take time. It'll take time out of your life, out of your schedule, out of your plans. It'll be inconvenient. Do you think this was convenient for the apostles? Do you think this is what they had planned for their evening? No, it wasn't. But yet, when Jesus was put before people that he could serve, he did serve, even when it took time and it was inconvenient. And what a powerful lesson for us, too, of whoever it is that God has put before you in your life to serve, serve them, even when it's inconvenient, even when you're not really sure, it's not clear how you, how you could serve them. Ask them, would you like some help? Is there something I could do? And where you see the need, fill that need. That's at least what we could do to follow the example of Jesus. That's the example that he left for us, that we could walk in his footsteps and learn from him. So I hope that I hope that's an encouraging thought for you of, you know what? We all need this reminder of sometimes serving the people that God has placed before us is inconvenient and it's going to take time. Can you imagine how long it took to feed these thousands of people? I just can't get over that. So that's my takeaway from this week's lesson. I hope that you got something from that. Maybe it's a good reminder for you. Maybe you're thinking of somebody right now of, man, I I know this person has been needing some help and and they have a need that I could be filling but I know it's going to take time. I know it's going to be inconvenient because relationships are messy. People are difficult. But something that, that I hear Chris talk about from time to time is when you are placed in a position to help somebody or to serve somebody, you can view it either as a problem or as an opportunity. And I just want to encourage you guys to take advantage of those, of those opportunities to serve and try not to view it so much as a problem, but as an opportunity to glorify the Father so that he could see your good works and that his name would be glorified above all things. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in. These lessons are all in an effort to help drive these lessons home for you and your family so it has a lasting impact on your daily walk with the King of Kings. So I hope that this week's episode has accomplished that. Until next time, this is the Driving at Home.